Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. I hope you've all had a very good September, albeit it could have been high energies and are quite transformative for, for some of us. And um, I think that the full moon, the coming up to the full moon was quite intense and the Mercury retrograde didn't uh, lessen any of that intensity. But now we are here with the October forecast and um, I hope you are all doing well. Please let me know down in the comments below and how this year has flown. OK, so uh, we're working with Alana Fairchild decks today. We have the option one, which is the Earth Warriors Oracle. We have the option two, which is the Isis Oracle. And we have the option three, which is the Crystal Mandala Oracle. Go ahead and make a selection. You can pause the video if you need to, and then you can go directly to the reading, which you'll find in the timestamps. I hope you're all doing fabulously, and I look forward to reading for you today. Okay, for those of you who've chosen the first option, which is the Earth Warrior Oracle, we're asking, what can we expect in October? What do we need to be prepared for in October? And what is our guidance for the month of October Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the option number one, in October, we can we begin the month with the connecting with those of um, us that um, are perhaps part of our tribe. Now, if you're feeling that you're not actually connecting with one of those who are of your tribe, you are required uh, to make connection regardless because what I'm seeing here is the need to be able to reach out and see oneness and see the 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 same in the other as is yours. So to be able to reach out to the other and connect on a spiritual level. Now you might find that uh, when a card like this comes up, it either means that you are going to um, be able to uh, meet somebody that you get along very well with and it's going to be very smooth but there is a chance that you can butt heads and I think that if you find yourself in that condition um, you need to put to rest the the doubts that you have and put to rest the emotions that come up uh, because that is just a distraction from being able to communicate and to connect with another on a soul level okay so you might have a challenge or two as you enter October but that does not have to be the case let me please reiterate that it doesn't have to be the case it could be that you go swimmingly into October and that you meet with people who are kind of um, fill the pieces in your life and are exactly what you need and uh, require at this moment Whatever the case may be, I see you being fairly headstrong in your approach. You might have recently taken a decision which will define how headstrong you are and you feel quite determined. There's an energy that's rising inside of you, a fire that's rising inside of you, and you're willing to push forth regardless of what others have to say and uh, just being true to yourself. And I think this is a wonderful energy to have. There's also a certain power, a certain wisdom that comes from this. And you might find yourself also in um in the environment of others that lack this wisdom and perhaps you might need to uh, be able to share some of that knowledge that you have some of that wisdom that you have and you might be able to do so um in a manner that's quite diplomatic and tactful in a way that's not going to alienate another but in a way that's going to uh welcome open armed uh welcome with open arms the those before you who are perhaps not necessarily resonant with your energy or perhaps just a step away from resonating with your energy. Uh, I think that uh, the first week of October is going to be quite a, a time of um, not fiery energy, but quite a robust energy. And uh, the, the, it doesn't 
it's it's not to do with aggression or anything like that. It's just a uh, fired up energy, just something that we you're rearing to go where there's a lot of uh, force behind you, uh, where the universe is standing behind you and you have a kind of force rising through you that helps you to determine the way that you will go for the rest of October. As you enter into the the second week of October, there is a feeling of healing coming into being. There's a feeling of being able to humble oneself, perhaps from the experience that you had in the first week, but being able to humble yourself and being able to give of yourself and softening. There's a softening that's taking place where there's a recognition of the the greater picture, the bigger picture of this all and how you fit into that and what is your role in that. And I think from the first card, I feel that the role here is very much about coming together as opposed to uh, creating further division, right? Uh, I think that as you enter the second week of October, there's a peace that falls beyond, uh, falls upon you. It's almost like this rearing to go energy is a slightly subdued. You might feel a little bit tired. You might feel that you need to rest a little bit more. And please do give yourself that and maintain your boundaries as far as that's concerned, because I, I think that might be one of the things that would come up so that you know that you are protecting yourself. I think also that um, you can, if you feel the need to, tap into nature's forces, uh, spend time with animals, uh, be go to the water, go to the earth, go into a forest, do something that connects you with nature to be able to draw more of that strength and that energy that you might need during the second week of October, uh, which you certainly didn't need in, in the first week of October as you were rearing to go forth. And then as we come into the third week of October, we have the, the blessing of Camus, no good thing shall be withheld. And I feel here that there are many different options for you. Um, it's almost like um, there's this ball that's ricocheting off many different sides and you can choose to be making very quick decisions, uh, doing a lot of things. You might be traveling uh, uh, or having quite frequent travel during that time, which lands you in different places. That's just one very literal interpretation of this. But I feel that you have the, the knowledge and the connection and the oneness with the universe. And you you don't have this basic um, or base chakra rearing to go energy here. And you don't have this water heart chakra type of energy, which is very much a healing type of of space that you're in. You have the wisdom and the uh, ability to transcend all of that and to be able to see what's right for you, to be able to do what's right for you and matters that were menial and more um, day to day become, take a back seat as you are progressing very quickly here, traveling very quickly here through various destinations, be it in the mind, be it in terms of your spirituality, be it in terms of your intelligence and your and the, the, your willingness to be able to expand your intellect. Uh, or it could, as I said, be that you are just simply traveling to various different places and getting quite a lot of input from your environment. There's a lot of information coming through here. It's almost like an information overload and you are able to manage that very gracefully and be able to organize it in a way that really tr truly does serve you at the end of it all. And then as we end, as we um, come to the end of October, it's a really beautiful reading, by the way. I find it really interesting for you. It's almost like the first half of October split from the second half of October. October because in the as you've gone through all those experiences where I feel like you're one with the stars you're one with the universe and you have been able to use the wisdom that you have within you here to be able to take that and and use that as a as a kind of foundation for this work that you're doing here uh, and this um, this exciting time that you have here. Perhaps it's not exciting in that you're doing something necessarily, but it's a very vibrant, stimulating time in your mind and in your intellect and in terms of your spirituality as well. You could choose to take your spirituality a lot further in this third week. But then as you come into the fourth week, what you're going to find is that you are at one with um, this energy, this power again that you started off with at the beginning of the month, but at the end of the month, it's 
like you've emerged through a spiritual space and you've come back to be able to reconcile that which of you which is spiritual and the spiritual development that's been taking place in you in the month of October and you reconciling that with the power and the energy and the force that you have that raging fire in you to be able to um, manifest and, and do what you need to do as you enter into November. So I feel that the month of October is going to be quite a, a beautiful blessing for you. It's going to be something which um, if you don't allow yourself to be torn in, in terms of your emotion or go off the rails with extreme reactions, in the first few weeks, the, in the first two weeks, you're going to find that the, the second two weeks is just a, a matter of embodying the, the embodying the calm and the peace and being able to reconcile that with the power that you have that's innate to you and being able to know exactly how you're going to use that as time proceeds. OK, so I find I think it's going to be a fabulous month for you. Please do write to me. Let me know how you find it and what actually proceeds for you in the month. And I wish you a fabulous October as you go forth. And for those of you who've chosen the second option, this is the Isis Oracle. We're asking, what is the guidance that we need for October? What is it that we need to know? What is it that we can look forward to? And what is the information that we need to hear right now that's going to help us to navigate the month of October? Okay, so for those of you who've chosen option number two, we're using the Isis Oracle and we're asking, what is it that we need to know for the month of October? And what I see here as we begin the month, it's almost like a part of you that's been outside of yourself is re-merging re with yourself. It's like you coming back to yourself. It's about you creating that solid sense of self, sense of being, if you've been feeling a little bit fragmented, if you've been feeling a bit depressed, a bit uh, restless, then you're going to find that as you come into the first week of October, that energy is going to be really changed, perhaps because of external events or external circumstances that take place that force you to move back towards yourself, to be able to take refuge in yourself. Now, this does not mean that you will be not seeing other people or being with the other people. On the contrary, I feel that you need to be able to interact with others. And this is the reason you need to be able to solidify yourself and just to be able to find your grounding and your truth or your, your just your being, just to be able to reconcile yourself with your own being, your own soul, so that you can take on what is coming up around you. Uh, the year it's called the knot of Isis or the en energetic stabilization with the buckle of the beloved. And I feel here, uh, basically what they're saying is that just to be able to, to um, reconcile your own energy with that, with the divine power that you believe in, uh, or with the, the greater goodness that exists. As we enter into week two, we have the rising sun the divine solar child reborn. And I think here, you know, it's very much about taking yourself out of this locked space where you've put yourself in in the first week to be able to maintain your own sense of being and self and to be able to strengthen yourself, really, to be able to return home to yourself in order to be um, able to recalibrate before you can rebirth yourself in October and in, uh, in the second week of October I mean and I think as we come into the second week of October here uh, especially to, towards the middle of the week and the end of the week what you are going to find is that there's a sense of uh, renewal 
that takes place in your life. So you might be revisiting a space that you were in before. It could be physically, it could be um, geographically, it could be um, in just in terms of a memory that you have or an emotion emotional memory that you have and you're it you have you have a greater you have a, a greater awareness about it uh, as a result and it kind of it gives you something it reinvigorates you it gives you some power and it also brightens your um your experience it kind of is like the as it says the rising sun here it is like that. It's that energy is very much like, oh, here I come again. Here I birth myself again. So if you felt in the last few months that you've been in a kind of funk or you've not been able to really interact with the world or with yourself in the way that you needed to, as you come to the second week of October, that is coming to an end and you're going to be able to find the light within yourself again. It's almost like you might have been a bit um, obsessed with something or just worrying about something in this last few weeks and you free yourself with that from that and as you come into October and as you come into the second week of October you see the benefits of having freed yourself from that and what it means for you is that you have um, a kind of connection with your own essence with your own being it's like you're revisiting a younger version of yourself it's as if you have a whole lot of energy, you might you might feel, but it's not energy that you can just you want to throw out or express or or just pro propagate. It's more energy that's a reserved light that's birthing in you, and I think that uh, you might find here that um, as you as you come through the second week of October, that you understand yourself a whole lot better, and the place that you've revisited, whether it's emotionally or spiritually intellectually, um, academically, perhaps, or, um, you know, physically, you, you're going to find that that's given you something. It's kind of restored a part of you that has been missing. It's almost like you've picked up some pieces of you that has been, you know, around the place and you bring it back to you to restore yourself and I think that having said that that's been very much a journey for many in this year just being able to go back and retrieve the pieces of themselves that they've left in different places uh, in their lives it, and I'm just talking ne not necessarily of geographically you know, I'm talking about you know certain experiences that you've had and just to be able to revisit that and take back your energy from something that where it's no longer being served you know where you no longer have a use for another and you, and your energy being there has no use for you either and so the second week of october is very much about that and about that kind of coming together once and for all to signal a new beginning and that's important okay so as we come into the third week of october you have the mother of life the nourishment of the golden grain mother and i feel that uh you know it's like here's the child reborn and here's the mother and it's it's saying that well you have retrieved these pieces of yourself uh, it's like a soul retrieval that you've done and you've understood yourself in a new light and it's given you a new energy and a new form of being able to birth yourself and then as you come to um, the third week the question here is what am I going to do with that how am I going to look after that for myself am I going to go back to old patterns or older ways of behaving and disregard that huge light that's coming to my life or oh, that huge recognition that awakening that I've had and am I going to fall into all patterns or am I actually going to take that and redevise new uh, routines for myself new ways of behaving new ways of interacting with the world and a new response to myself an emotional response it might not have something to do with your mundane activities it might just simply have to do with the way in which you look at the world, your perspective, the way in which you perceive information, the way in which you perceive what is happening to you at any given moment and your emotional uh, or um, um, mental reaction to that. I think also in the, as we go into the third week of October, it's important for you to focus on how it is that you are physically uh, nourishing yourself are you getting the the all the are you having balanced meals are you able to have 
all the nutrients that you require. Uh, this is very important. Are you able to have enough sleep? Are you able to have enough ac activity in your life? Because this is very important in terms of being able to maintain the balance and to be able to really, truly take the gift that you've been received here on the second week of October and to be able to put it on a mantle and, 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 and look after it so that it serves you and you need to be able to serve it by looking after yourself, looking after this body that you have. And uh, so that's quite a, a, a literal meaning of that. But I think also there's a sense also of being a mother, not just in in terms of yourself, not just looking after yourself, but also looking at how it is that you are looking after those around you and what is it that you need to do for yourself first so that you can be the best that you can be for those around you. And if you do slip up in this week, as far as that is concerned, it's just simply a reminder that you need to pay more attention to that. So don't be too hard on yourself. If you feel that you've behaved in a way that has been not as nurturing as you normally would be, or not as kind or accommodating as you normally would be, just give yourself um, a pat on the back and forgive yourself and say, well, that's my reminder. I need to take certain steps to be able to look after myself better so that I can be more for the rest of the world, for those around me and for those that I interact with, as well as just to raise vibrations on this planet. Okay. And as we come into the week uh, four of October, it's a fantastic uh, card. It's very similar to the first uh, reading where there's this portal of light, right? And she glides on the wings through time and space. It's like you've come above everything that you've experienced in October. And this energy year is very much in uh, relation to the second week energy year in October, where you kind of, it's like you're picking up from that. So whatever you've been ex experiencing here at the beginning of October, as you enter October, you're going to be in such a different place by the end of October. You're going to feel so much more empowered and you're going to feel so much more at one with the universe. You know, perhaps this journey that you've needed to go through here is very necessary for your development and for your well-being because there's just so much of light and energy and power that you wield here as you come to the end of October. You can do anything that you desire. You can manifest anything that you desire. You have the power to do that. And here you've understood why and how you need to be able to do that responsibly. And here you've been, you've had that, um, that, that it's ignited in you. And so, you know, you're no longer dealing with having to put together pieces of yourself or trying to find ways to heal yourself or maintain a stability in your life. Here you have it all together and you're really feeling like you are able to take action in this world that will benefit this world and will benefit yourself ultimately and will be in authentic to you and be a, you know, part of your own integrity with your contribution to this world. I feel like uh, there is huge um, a, uh, opportunity and potential for growth here, especially spiritual growth, especially as we as we work with the second week and the and the fourth week of October here. But the last week of October, uh, I think that there's going to be a great a surge in you. It's almost like a new beginning, like a new year for you uh, at the end of October. And you can choose to do whatever you want to with this energy and you can move with it in whichever way you like. It's something that it, there's a lot of opportunity that comes with it. And as I said already, there's a lot of potential as well that comes with it. And you have everything that you need and everything that it takes to be able to do whatever you want to with that. So you can choose to if you've been wanting to move, you probably have the energy at the end of October to be able to do so. If you wanted to change work or, or jobs or your career direction, you will have the energy to be able to make that happen. Even if you haven't been able to, if you've been a bit stuck here at the beginning of October or in the last few months, you're going to find that those doors all are open for you right now. Okay, so this is a lovely reading. It does have a bit of gravitas here where you are going to have to uh, look at 
how it is that you can nurture yourself, how it is that you can look after yourself and what is it that you can do for yourself along the way, which I think is extremely important. And then you have the, the light coming to you from the universe and the support coming to you here and it's sustaining you and you can you have what you've done for yourself and you have that energy coming in from the outside, which is just giving you all that you need. And uh, it's going to be an interesting and a beautiful month for you. So I wish you uh, and a powerful month, actually ultimately. So I wish you a fabulous October and may it be wonderful and uh, many blessings to you all. And for those of you who've chosen the third option, you'll be using the Crystal Mandala Oracle by Alana Fairchild. And uh, we are asking what is the guidance that we need to hear and work with for the month of October? What is it that we need to prepare for? And what is it that we need to know at this point as we go ahead into this month? For those of you who've chosen the option number three, we start the month of October with the energy of the untamed. So it might be that you start October with a rearing to go with a huge fire beneath you, coming off the full moon that we've had and uh, coming off the Mercury retrograde uh, shadow. There is a lot of power behind you and there's a lot of energy and you are rearing to go. You're insatiable and there's an energy that is simply wanting to uh, conquer okay there is you might want to travel you might want to work on a project to its end you might want to give all of your energy it might also leave you with sleepless nights because there's this huge energy that you're holding in you and um this deck, the Crystal Mandala Oracle, works with, with stones so if you have the stones here that we are going to be um, mentioning you can work with with that, and the the stone that's required that's uh, suggested to use, or the stone that's part of this card uh, for the goddess Freya, is amber. So if you do have amber in the and you use it in the first week of October, it's going to help you to be able to tame some of that energy, that wild energy that's rearing to go. It's going to be able to not tame it as much as give it some type of direction, so that you are using it ultimately to benefit yourself and those around you. All right. As you move into week two, we have the Ascended Master, Lady Nada and Rhodochrosite and the card of sensitivity. Now, I feel like some of that um, that wild energy that you've had right at the beginning of October, which gave you a lot of strength, is a little bit simmered as you come into the second week of October. You're a lot calmer, you're a lot more of peace, but you also feel like a little bit Maybe your feathers have been ruffled. You know, perhaps you've been in touch with people who haven't had the same level of vibrational energy that you've had. Uh, and they've kind of, um, you know, dampened that a little bit for you. And you're feeling a little bit sensitive as a result of that. You're feeling like you need, need to be a little bit more on guard as a result of that. That isn't uh, a negative thing. And it's, it's not a bad thing at all. It simply means that they that experience that you've had from the first week that leads into the second week is somehow um, asking you to go back inward and to be able to create more peace in your life, to be able to create more harmony in your life. And to it's helping you recognize that on some level, even though you've had all this energy and you were really willing to give of yourself, there might have been something that is that that you somewhere where you need to redress, redress that, where perhaps you need deeper boundaries. Perhaps you need to look at yourself and say, well, do I really need to do this? Do I really need to give so much of myself? Do I really need to um, to to use my energy in this way with those that are not reciprocal? So it could be something like that. I'm just giving you an example of it. But 
I think here there could also just be a sensitivity because there's a mourning for somebody that you've lost. It could be that there's a, a sadness that comes because you want to be there for somebody that you're not able to be there for. It could be that um, you're feeling a little bit sensitive in just generally in what people say to you or how people treat you. And so I would say that as you come to the second week of October, just take that sensitivity with you and just try to balance it out with your daily activities and your interactions with others and and see where it is that you are feeling that. Now, for some of you, you might not feel sensitivity at all in the way in which I've just described. It might just simply be that you're very open to the energy, the divine energy that's coming through to you and you are able to uh, discern certain things that you're not normally able to discern and that could very well be the path that some of you are experiencing in the second week of October here. Um, it's about being able to feel deeper. You might be able to kind of have a sense of you know exactly what's going on in this universe. You know exactly what is happening uh, from a spiritual point of view. You understand the bigger picture and you are sensitive to that. You are aware of that and that awareness creates that sensitivity. All right. And as we go into the week three of October, it's the number 33 and it's Ascended Master Helios and Citrine is the stone. So once again, if you have the stone, Citrine, go ahead and use it. And it says it's your time to shine. All right. And I think that, you know, this energy, some of this energy that you were rearing to go with at the beginning of October is coming back to you now. And it's coming back with full force. And it seems like you are you're a lot more contained with it. You're a lot more focused with this energy and you are able to push it forth in exactly the way you want to. So I think some of the energy here where it might have been dampened with some things that happened between the end of the first week and the second week, <clears throat> not in a bad way, but just slightly took you off focus. And there you are at the, the beginning of the third week where you are heading off in a new direction <laughs> and you're excited about it and you are able to create wonderful thing for yourself that you've chosen to do that makes you happy and that fulfills you at a deep deep level and the card uh, caption here reads your time to shine yes it's the your time to shine at whatever you know that you're really good at at whatever makes your heart skip a bit beat whatever makes you feel alive and well and in touch with the universe this is your time to shine so in the third week of October, seek out activities that you know that you're good at, that you know that you truly enjoy and be able to go back in and almost um, place your investment in those activities because that is ultimately what's going to give you more impetus to go on. It's almost like, you know, you need to add more wood to that fire. And so uh, because there's, there's that fire burning here again and here it's like, OK, this fire is still burning, but I need to keep it going. And the way to do that is to be able to do the activities, or partake in action that will fulfill you and has fulfilled you previously. I think also if you are in a new environment, you're, you, it can be that this energy that's backing you right now allows you to shine. Perhaps you need to present something in front of some people. Perhaps you need to present a, an assignment or, 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 do, or some type of project. And here is your time for you to, to take charge of that, to move along with it with a very well harnessed power in order to be able to move it in the direction that is good for all concerned. Okay. And as you come to the last week of uh, October, the energy is quite different again. We have number 19, the Ascended Master, Serapis Bay and Clear Calcite. And it talks about karmic grace. So it feels like after quite a lot of movement in um, in the beginning, in the first three weeks of, of October, it's especially in the first and the third week of October, it, it seems here that as you end uh, October, it might be that you are able to come in touch with something that's very spiritually profound for you, something where you feel you can surrender to the spiritual energy, something where you might be visiting a holy site, or it, it might be that you come across a holy experience, uh, or you find yourself in a holy space, and you're able to gracefully surrender to it, and you're able to accept what's going on around you as well, and be well with that you're okay with that it's not hurting you in any way and there's just a, a lot of clarity and a lot of 
um, you're just very clear about yourself and about what you're doing. And you are, you have this energy and this power still there with you, but you are not using it or you're not displaying it in the way that you might have previously done. You are a lot more um, reserved in that respect. And I feel that, uh, you know, just being able to surrender to that experience that's taking place and what's going on ar uh, around you allows you to come forth uh, into a lot more energy and a lot more power because you are holding back. You are reserving yourself. You're not fighting for something. You're not pushing uh, for something. You're just simply observing what is happening, what's going on around you. And as you enter into November, things are going to start shifting again. And so you have your, the power to restrain yourself. And that takes a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of discipline as well. So I feel that the month of October for you is going to really be about your own power and the way in which you regulate it and promote it in the world and the way in which you look after yourself and pay attention to what is important ultimately for you in this process and the way in which you use it with others and um, and how you put it forth as well as how you can draw it back in when you need to. And so I think that October is going to be quite a valuable month for you in terms of your own um, uh, growth as a as a character as a person all right and I hope that resonates with you I hope it helps you for the month of October and I hope it's been a good reading for you I wish you all a fabulous October and may you have many many good things that come to you and blessings abound from Kismet Rising <laughs>